I couldn't fall asleep till like 1.30 in the morning, right? Then, of course, my daughter comes in and she's waking me up, right? Just sitting there like, Dad, can you make me French toast? And I was like, okay. She said, thanks. And then my wife goes, um, we still have leftover pancakes. And I said, oh, that's right. And then my daughter goes, oh. And that's how it begins. That's how it begins. It's like, you know. My kids don't realize that like four out of the seven days, I make them Sunday level breakfasts. When I was a kid, you had fucking cereal for breakfast. All right? Cereal the whole week. And then on Sunday, my mother would either make eggs, pancakes, waffles, or French toast. And it was fucking amazing. There's bacon, toast, and all of that shit. It was fucking incredible. But for the rest of the week, you know, it was cornflakes, it was Cheerios, it was Apple Jacks, occasionally Fruit Loops. They didn't last long. Um, I remember that I used to like eating blueberry or Count Chocula, Count Chocula, but always felt like shit afterwards. So anyway, I had a great day yesterday with my daughter, right? We're hanging out and I, uh, you know, She's like, uh, I want, I, let's do daddy daughter time. So I'm like, all right. And I go, okay, what do you want to do? I have to run a quick errand. And she goes, all right. She loves running errands, like just going places. And uh, and she goes, I go, what do you want to do? She's like, you know, I want you to take me to get an ice cream. So I'm like, all right. So we go to get an ice cream and I'm hanging out with her. And it's just like magical, the stuff she's saying to me. And she's like a little girl now. So I'm literally, it's like phone off or at least to the side, let's not be, let's be honest here. I didn't shut it off, I had it to the side and I was just sitting there talking to her and she was just saying all of this hilarious stuff and she was in a great mood and all of that. And she was telling me that she loved me and I was the best dad ever and all of that. If you ever wanna hear that stuff, get your kids some ice cream. It's literally the Bill Cosby bit. Dad is great, give us the chocolate cake. Same thing, right? So, um, yeah, she told me she loved me and how awesome I was and all of that stuff. And within two hours of that, you know, we were playing cards. We were playing war and she wasn't winning and she was getting so mad and she was like cheating. We were like, <laughs> we got into a war and I see her. She puts the three down and then, you know, from one pile and then on another pile, she pulls out an ace to win it. And I'm laughing. I'm like, sweetheart, you can't do that. You can't do that. She goes, you don't make the rules. I was like, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't make the rules. The rules of this game were already established before I played them. And she kept, she got so mad at me within two hours of telling me that she loved me. She said, dad, we aren't best friends anymore and I'm never getting ice cream with you ever again. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I'll tell you, that, that female brain, it's real fickle. I'm kidding, it's not male or female. It's just, it just was adorable. Um, and I was cracking up laughing, which was making her even madder. Um, but I also noticed something. I don't know if other dads have this. My son and my daughter beat the shit out of me. I, have so I somehow fucked up because I like roughhousing that now whenever they see me laying down, they run over to me and they essentially do Hulk Hogan's second reference to him in this podcast, Hulk Hogan's finishing move. Remember that? He'd leap up in the air and fuck and slam that leg down, except they go like ass first right onto my rib cage. And uh, it's fine if I see it coming. But one day I was laying on the floor and I was tired. It was the middle of the day, the sun's out, right? So I just had a pillow over my head, over my eyes. My eyes, right? I had it over my eyes and my daughter came in and leapt up in the air. My, I, I was totally relaxed. I didn't tighten up at all. And she just landed on me. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I had to regroup. I literally rolled over and brought my knees up. And I was like, buddy, buddy, you can't do that. You can't do that. <laughs> she started crying because she realized she actually hurt me. <laughs> I mean, think about that. It's like somebody just, somebody just lay in there and you're sleeping and somebody came in and just dropped a 40 pound, 50 pound bag of sand right on your stomach. I mean, there's only one response to that. That's what. I <laughs> then what's funny is they get startled and they get upset and you have to comfort them as you're trying to get your win back. Um, I'll tell you what is awesome, though, is we got my daughter an electric car for her uh, birthday or for Christmas. I can't remember what. And um, I play this game. We call it playing Target, right? 
like you're going to Target and you have to park in the parking spot. And I just put two hockey sticks down and she has to back the car in there. And she has my son, my son in the passenger seat. And now when she backs up, she literally puts her arm around the seat, the passenger seat where my son's sitting and she's looking over her shoulder and she's starting to figure out how to drive back like that. It's just the, one of the most exciting things. It's like, she's gonna know how to drive a fucking car by the time she's six. Um, amazing. All right. 